In today's Tears of the Kingdom video, we'll take a look at some of the best armors you'll want to get early. The ones we'll focus on will help you a lot with exploration, boost your attacks and let you reach places like never before. As always, if you end up finding this video useful, a like would help a ton and let's dive right in. Here's how you get the Barbarian Armor, which is already a great starting set as it gives you a really good boost to attack power. The first one is the Armor Piece, which you'll find inside a chest in the Cranel Hills Cave. You will have to climb the hills here and it's not going to be too far off from the stables by the main road in the area. Now once inside, you'll immediately reach this bigger room with a stone talus boss in the center. Completely ignore it if you want to and instead head in the back until you see these giant crystals on the wall. There are quite a few bomb flowers in this cave, so just grab one really quick and toss it to clear the tunnel ahead. Once opened, climb up and you'll find the treasure containing the armor piece at the end of it, so you can go ahead, already equip it and get that nice attack up buff. The next one is the helm and you'll find this in the Necroda region inside a chest in the Robred drop-off cave. The path here is a bit more complex, so just follow my steps. From the initial room with a bunch of tunnels, you're gonna wanna take the exact first one onto your right side. You'll first reach this room with a bunch of statues placed in a circle, and behind them on the left side, there's a blocked path that you can clear either with a bomb flower or by smashing the rocks away. Once that's done, simply continue down the tunnel until you reach the second room with a bunch of sleeping enemies, as well as an extra gap in the middle that's also blocked by some rocks. Again, you should find a flower bomb right at the entrance of this room, so just use that and jump through the gap. From here, it's just a matter of following the last tunnel in this room with a bunch of platforms and some stones at the end of them. You'll want to choose the one on the right side with the three stones and use a sand while standing on the platform on the ceiling above. This brings you exactly in the treasure room, so you can go ahead and grab that nice helmet right away and equip it. Now for the reps, one of the locations I used is the Walnut Mountain Cave just a bit southeast from the previous one, but there's a couple of more that you can also use. Here you'll want to progress via the upper path up until the middle where you'll see this annoying frost-like like enemy. Just ignore it and instead jump via the platform in the opening below. You'll need some fire to melt the ice, which should not be too difficult, especially if you have the Zonai flamethrowers. And once done, you'll get the wraps and the set is now complete. Not going to lie, it looks really awesome and it's a nice way to get some extra attack power boost very early on. It's not the greatest for defenses, but there are other options that we'll check in just a little bit. This brings us to the second armor set. Climber armor will make the mountains and walls look like a walk in the park and it's the next one you'll want to get. Since you'll be doing a lot of that, might as well just get something to make it faster and easier and this is the perfect armor for that. Again, pieces are scattered in different treasures, so we're gonna get started with the gear chest piece, which is the easiest. You basically find this in a sinkhole very close to the new Serene Stables in the Hyrule Ridge. Basically, right in front of the stables, just a bit up the hill, you'll spot this hole that you can jump through in the cave below. From here, simply follow the river downstream to the waterfall and then jump down. Your treasure awaits behind the waterfall, so go through it and grab it right away. This already gives you a nice climb speed buff, but there are two more pieces left. The next one is the bandana and you'll find this in the Ploymast Mountain Cave, directly south of the Lulu Lake, just east of Zora's Domain if you've ever been here. The cave entrance is right behind these trees by the giant waterfall. Now this part will be a bit trickier since the rocks here are slippery, so if you don't have anything for that, there's a quick trick to deal with it. Instead of trying to jump when Link just slipped, try to climb up normally 3 or 4 moves and then use jump to reach the top. From here, if you don't have a means to gain some altitude, just use these rocks to reach the next higher up spot all the way up until the end of the cave. Glider also works in between the ones further away, but again, keep in mind to not spam that jump once Link slips and instead, after doing so, just move a bit up and then press the jump button. Once you're at the end, you can once again use the intermediate platform to the right side and then just a quick climb at the top. From this point on, you'll have to go through the tunnel via the right side and at the end of it, you'll find a second treasure with a bandana inside of it. 
The final ones are going to be the pants, and you find these in the upland Sorana by road, a different cave on the west side of the main of Zora. Once inside, keep it to the right and swim through the water to reach this tunnel entrance above you. You'll encounter one of these annoying enemies again, so just skip them and make your way down the tunnel and through the ride all the way at the bottom until you reach this exit covered by some vines. Clearing them will give you access to this flooded room, so you will want to use the ruins to make your way to the backside. Your main goal here is to reach up these stairs and then use the ultra hands to open up the gates and drain all the water. Once that's done, you can now jump down and you'll notice beneath the same staircase, you can now access a hidden room which also holds the final treasure for the boots. I tested this and the full set makes a noticeable difference in how fast Link can climb up the walls. It's not so much that it reduces the stamina, it's just that it makes the time needed to climb up something a lot shorter, so definitely worth it since you'll be doing that quite a lot early on. And finally to number 3 we have a set that's gonna be very useful especially in water regions. Zora's Armor is an amazing set early and you get this via the missions at Zora's Domain, during which you also have to clear up and cleanse the water temple above it. Part of the set is acquired quite early in the quest chain without having to even do anything yet, but for the remaining pieces and to complete the full set, you will have to finish all the main quests in the area so that the side quests can open up later. In any case, the first one and the easiest is the chess piece which you get on your first visit in Zora's Domain by speaking to the character named Yona. This will start the sludge covered statue, which is pretty simple, you just have to clear the statue covered with sludge behind her. You'll need a splash fruit for that, which are pretty abundant as you explore, so either throw it or break it near it to clear the statue. Once that's done, you can go ahead and talk to her again in the infirmary one level above, and she will start a new quest called Restoring the Zora Armor. In this one, you'll have to find an ancient arowana fish, which are very abundant in some of the pools in the starting floating islands at the beginning of the game. So any of these can work right here, you can go into the one just north of the nearby teleport point and you should see at least a few you can grab right here from the lake. Once you go back to her, she's gonna thank you and yeah, this is gonna give you the Zora armor right away. And this is going to be important to have because we'll open up the rest of the quest chain in here, including the one called Sidon of the Zora. I don't want to spoil anything, but yeah, you'll get to meet your old friend once again as he tries to clean up the sludge infested waters in the Mipha Court, exactly east of the Zora's domain. In fact, you'll travel between these often and even grab new objectives to continue the main story in these locations. This will also open up access to the floating scales island next to it, which you'll now climb via the waterfalls as the armor you just got will help with that. As well as the water temple right above it that you'll have to clear at the end. So quite a lot here to do, about a couple of hours, so just be ready for that. But once you've completed that, cleared the temple and got Sidon back at the domain, you can now start the following two side quests for the remaining helmet and pants. So for the pants, you can start a token of friendship by talking to Yona once again once you see her outside of the throne room. She will task you to go back into the ancient Zora Waterworks, which is an underwater location you've unlocked beneath the East Reservoir Lake during the main quest over there. To get inside, you'll once again have to go through the spiraling abyss and drop below. From here, follow the path into the main room and go all the way into the back behind this bigger tower through a sinkhole one level below. Here you're just going to have to go into the giant room, there's gonna be a talus boss here once again, but you can simply ignore it and instead head behind this waterfall right in front of you. Once here you can simply grab the pants from the chest inside and equip them right away. Now for the helmet you'll have to head back to the throne room once again and talk to Kira and Chroma on the left side to open the second side quest called the never ending lecture. The clues point that the treasure rests within a skyfish, which is basically the same floating scales island that you access via the waterfall next to Mipha's court. From here go onto the opposite side of the fish shaped island all the way back onto its tail. 
From the bottom side of the tail, you will notice looking down that there's a hidden path inside. Simply jump through it and follow the corridor up until the final room and congrats, you just got the full armor set with this one. Besides increasing your swim speed significantly and letting you swim up waterfalls, the helmet now also lets you do a spin attack while swimming which can come in quite in handy. Not only does that deal damage but also boost you further and you'll notice you can speed through entire lakes now with a much more efficient stamina consumption. Plus, I'd argue the armor looks really great, it comes in relatively early and you get other benefits from that quest as well. This includes the royal claymore that you get from a golden chest after defeating a certain boss during that main quest to help Sidon. And also this is going to have a powerful flurry rush during a perfect dodge. Plus, there's plenty of Zora's shields that you can find in some of these chests, both during the underwater areas as well as the upper sky islands, so totally worth checking all of these locations out. And that's pretty much it with the best early armors, totally let me know down below how many of these you've got so far, of course more following soon, so definitely stay tuned for that. As always, a sub to the channel would help a ton, and I'll see you guys in the next video.